Hello and welcome. This is Darius Barasande, host of the U.S. Revolution. And if you're about to watch this amazing session that we did, then you're part of a group of humans on this planet who are ascending and moving into a higher frequency. You're not here by accident, and I'd like to offer you a special gift that will help you to adjust to some of these frequencies, plug in even deeper, and it's an energy activation MP3 that will double the power of your energy field in less than 57 seconds. It's absolutely free, and it's the first link in the description down below, but it's also going to let you get to hear calls like this one live and get daily help from healers, teachers, and masters all over the world. It's absolutely free and it's part of what we're doing every day at UAuth Revolution. So if you feel called in your heart, you can click the link down below and the special session that you wanted to watch and experience will start right now. I'd like to do this if we could uh, do an exercise uh, to get a taste or a, a feeling, because I think that um, you know the the words are so powerful, and I feel it, and I and I know people are feeling this. But there's another part that we are sort of I'm intuiting from the group is they want to not only feel it, but and hear it, but experience some of it, or at least get a taste of what what that shift might be like. Can we do an experiential part? We can, and I would love to. And what I would like to do first, because there's a little science involved here, is that I want to just explain for a moment about pH. I know that, you know, that has come to the forefront of a lot of um, writing and teaching recently, and the reason for that is, is that what we know is that everything in our universe has this pH right and and something is either acidic or alkaline now the reason that i want to put some focus on this is that i've actually created a ph scale for thoughts and emotions and the reason that i've done that is that in this self love process what we learn to do is to actually give ourselves what it is that we need and sometimes we do that almost like creating a salve. So it's a little bit of a concoction. And so if um, we can just sort of imagine for a moment a pH scale, which goes from 1 to 14. And in the center is the number 7. And that's sort of neutral ground. Everything from 1 to 7 is acidic. And this is a regular pH scale, by the way. And everything 7 to 14 is considered alkaline. Now, from a medical point of view, what that really is telling us is how much oxygen is in a um, cell, okay? And that's what determines whether it's acidic or alkaline. So, remember we talked a moment ago about stress and one of the symptoms of a tremendous amount of stress is you feel like you can't take a deep breath, right? Mm -hmm. So because of that, your body's not getting the oxygen that it needs, and that's why we start to get flu-like symptoms. We start to we just start to feel like god-awful, right? Mm -hmm. So in my pH scale for thoughts and emotions, Everything from 1 to 7 is acidic, which means oh. that it has very little life force energy. It has mm. very little oxygen. And so rather than being life enhancing, it's life diminishing. Everything from 7 to 14 is life enhancing. So mm. if you were to imagine for a moment where you might put something like fear, Anger, disappointment, jealousy, envy. You see where I'm going, right? This is all from one to seven because they create stress. They create an increase in the acid in our bodies. That's why people under tremendous amount of stress get stomach ulcers. Yes. Right? because there's so much acid circulating in the body. And we know it's all stress-related, right? Stomach ulcers. The truth is, Absolutely. is that every single disease 
and illness begins with stress, every single one. Yes. So now let's go from 7 to 14, and let's talk about the components of love, something like okay. compassion, empathy, tenderness, generosity, kindness, understanding, truth. We begin to see that in this end, and I'm sure that anybody just listening to us can recognize that the minute I started to talk about those qualities, those characteristics of love, that they started to feel better. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Right? This is an immediate fix, which is why it's so powerful. And so what I'd like to do is for everyone just for a moment to imagine that pH scale in front of them. And if you'd like even, take a piece of paper and a pen and draw a straight line. And on one end, put the number 1. On the other end, put the number 14. And in the middle, put the number 7. Okay. I'll see that as well. Okay. Okay. And from 1 to 7. Okay, those are going to be acidic thoughts and emotions. And from 7 to 14 are going to be alkaline. And just for everybody that's listening in, um, the, you know, the, the studies have found, the doctors have found that, uh, you know, things that are acidic Create cancer, premature aging, uh, physical conditions, and uh, and then the alkalinity is actually the um, stabilizer and uh, the, the sort of the giver of life. So um, this is definitely in line with what our mainstream is slowly waking up to uh, That's eventually. Right. Yeah, but I've never heard anybody do it in terms of thoughts, and this is a, this is incredibly unique. So I, I knew we were stretching minds here. Okay, keep going, Marcy. Mm-hmm. And and even more so, Darius. Rather mm-hmm. than even focusing on thoughts, we need to focus on the emotion, because the emotion mm-hmm. is what creates the thought. It's not the opposite at all, because our right. subconscious is always at work, and that's what actually creates. It's the driving force that creates thoughts, and that's why it has all the clout. We, and, and it doesn't have we, – we tend to not give it the credence it's due because we forget about it. We think that our thoughts are king. They aren't. <laughs> they are not the driving force, which is – you know, I mean, if that were the case, why couldn't we just – you know, spend an afternoon and, and think about having a pile of money in front of us. Or it doesn't happen like that because there are these little parts and particles of resistance that have a tremendous amount of energy that are actually influencing those thought particles in ways that we're not even aware of. Um, and I, I'd like to digress just for a second here and give you an example of that. If you have somebody, for instance, who's, and and this is just sort of a quick energy 101 here, but, you know, energy, we know that it has vibration. We know that it has frequency, but there's also weight. There is a weight to energy. If you have someone who's um, experiencing depression, for instance, what what do they feel? They can't get off the couch. They can't get out of bed. They feel listless. They, they feel like they're wearing cement shoes. And in fact, they are. Sometimes even to the point where they're catatonic. They can't move forward. Conversely, you have somebody who is in love. How do they feel? They're walking on air. They're as light as a feather. They have clarity of thought. They have clarity of emotion, of feeling, of expression, of language. They, you know, everything happens for them. And 
that is so important for us to remember, particularly when we're talking about this pH scale, because what we're looking for is the feeling associated with these aspects of, of life, our thoughts and emotions, and that's how we create our self-love consciousness, by being aware of how we are feeling at any given moment. And then, the moment that we're aware, we have the road map, which tells us how to get from where we are to where we want to be. So, I'd like everybody to just um, sort of keep in mind this pH scale, okay? And just close your eyes for a moment and take a nice deep breath. And let your breath out. And know that that beautiful breath that you just released was such a wonderful cleansing breath. And it was a breath that's now prepared you to send out an invitation. And to please invite your next breath in. As if it were an old friend whose arms are filled with gifts that have been selected just for you. And invite that breath to come in. And feel it settling through. Each and every one of them knowing exactly where to go and what to do. And gifts come in all sizes and shapes. And have all kinds of purposes. And now release that breath out. And as you do... Remember that the breath that you release out becomes the gift for all those who receive it. For each and every breath released from you is your own unique breath filled with life force energy after having passed through this wonderful miracle of your being. And so allow your breath to simply just settle in. And ask that the next breath be one of great clarity. And that it brings with it everything that you need to look deeply at something that has just occurred, perhaps in the last hour couple of hours, the last day, an incident, an occasion, a conversation, a thought that is looking now, ready now to be renewed and transformed and then transcended. And just Ask that it make its way to the forefront of your consciousness. And know that as it does, it comes completely within this realm of love where it is received without judgment or conditions or expectations and is there simply for the review. But it comes with its hand raised And saying, please, look at me. And now take a breath. And allow that breath to be illumined. And ask that the illumined breath now show you where This thought or conversation or action or occurrence has pocketed in your body. Where is it? And as it shows itself to you, 
place your hand upon it. And if you're in a circumstance where you cannot do that, then just imagine in your mind's eye that you're doing so. And draw forth that pH scale. And ask that it be shown on the scale where it sits. In that area between 1 and 7, it will be associated with fear of some sort. So it may have been anger. Perhaps it was that feeling of being unlovable or unworthy, perhaps of incompetence, disappointment, or just fear itself, unmasked. And there in your body, see it and see the surrounding tissue. See how it's affecting the cells. And as your hand is placed upon it, whether physically or in your mind's eye, I want you to begin to draw from the pH scale from 7 to 14 what it is that you need to soothe that area in your body. Perhaps it's two parts of compassion. Maybe one part of forgiveness. Maybe a pinch of tenderness. Maybe a part of generosity. Maybe a part of kindness. Consideration. You choose. And ask that your heart come forward to assist you if you're having any challenges whatsoever. You may actually see them lighting up on the scale, asking you to select it. And as you do, simply take it from the scale and place it within that area where the fear resided. And now with your breath, pulling directly through your heart, send that breath into that area. With all of that love, all of those aspects of love And watch as it begins to permeate every cell in that area once occupied by that fear. And immediately begin to watch as every heart in every cell responds to the love that you have chosen, knowing exactly what you needed and where you needed it, sending it in, loving every part of it, giving it exactly what it needs. And perhaps you are drawn to massage that area a bit, to help to maybe break up the toxins or the debris that has accumulated there, perhaps from other times where you experienced those same falsehoods. And now just love it as it's meant to be loved. And if any judgment should jump out and say, but, 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 
love that also. We understand how difficult it can be to create the shift at times. But you in all of your power, in all of your glory, and in all of your divinity, know exactly what you need, have selected exactly what you need, and now have loved yourself in a way that you have never loved yourself before. Your self-wish complete. And now place your hand or your hands upon your heart. And give thanks. Give thanks for all that it has shown you and shared with you. For its great faith in you and trust in you. And feel the joy leaping forward from your heart as you have aligned yourself perfectly with your spirit and set your spirit free. Feel the freedom being pumped from cell to cell as each heart reawakens to the memory of its well-being. And it all began with your willingness, your choice, and your action. All that you need is within you. And it is the essence of your being. You are love. Love is all there is. And it heals all things. So now send your love back out into the universe. And in fact, send it into all of the hearts who are challenged as you once were challenged. Send it upon your breath in full and complete partnership with all that is divine and watch as they open their hearts to receive your great heart wisdom. And then, of course, take another deep breath in and receive back all that you have given in perfect partnership and union this state of grace where love is all there is. And then come back. And as you open your eyes, you will see the world around you differently. Seeing through eyes of love. Hello and welcome. This is Darius Barzande, host of the Wealth Revolution. And if you enjoyed that snippet of one of our interviews, I'd invite you to just scroll down for one second and click the link down below. You're going to get access not only to a free gift that's going to double the power of your energy field in just 57 seconds, you're also going to get to be a part of the U.S. Revolution and listen to interviews just like the ones you heard that are happening live right now daily where I interview some of the top healers, teachers, and masters in the field of energy transformation, energy healing, consciousness, ascension, and more. Plus, you're going to get to be on live calls where you'll get your questions answered, you'll get to submit them via webcast, you'll even get to be one-on-one -on -one live on the phone and get energy healing help daily. It's all part of what we've been doing. So get up to date, click the link, join and be a part of it. And if you enjoyed this video or you'd like to see more of it, click the like button or subscribe. I always upload new content and I give weekly energy updates. So please let us know how we can serve you. And thanks for watching and being in my life. Much love.